in your stops. You smell. You smell it very few well. If you, it's just water. Yeah. No, no, you smell it. If there is gasoline. No. Oh. Is oh, so you start the start. Start. You see, without this, it won't start. Now you put this one here. So the water runs the way. Uh, no, there is, they say that there, maybe there is gasoline heat in there. You cannot mix hydrogen with gasoline. Yeah. You cannot mix hydrogen, I uh, know, uh, gasoline with water. And then you see the idling is only about 600 RPM. <clears throat> and it's very smooth. How long have you had to start driving this? Four years. When I when this uh, I bought this four years ago, then I test it and test it and test it. After testing it, we remove the engine, dismantle the engine, get all the data before and after. So we have been working this for almost 30 years, improving it, improving it. So um, your other cars that, that run on hydrogen? This one that runs on hydrogen. Yeah. Do you, you have you said you had other cars that run on hydrogen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of them. Yeah, it's in the farm. Yeah. Yeah, we have a farm. Um, what's the oldest car that you've had running on hydrogen? No, we, we started from Chevrolet, then Buick, Pontiac, and then up to La, uh, Mitsubishi, and then Toyota. Yeah. So how many years ago was the earliest car driving on hydrogen? How long? Oh, long time ago, 1969, we are already uh, transforming it into H2O. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got 100 of these already working in my farm. We plan to to modify it to water and then give it all to all countries who are interested to use it. So what they do, they run the engine, then they copy what is inside, then they can build it, they can modify it and improve it. And then we'll have a joint partnership. That is my idea. The world will have something to say about the Filipinos having, been, having had a very significant contribution for the progress of mankind yeah. and for protecting the environment especially. Well, some people are afraid to uh, use the hydrogen car because they think it's a highly combustible engine. Yeah. Mr. Hydrogen from Switzerland came here and what he asked me is, are you not afraid that hydrogen will explode? Like what you have seen, how the power of the explosion. I said, if I know the meaning of explosion, I would not have done it. That is the reason I was able to do it, because I don't know the meaning of explosion. Right? <laughs> because you know why, the, why it will not explode? Because another invention that I made, you fill this aluminum right into your tank and then you get a, a fire, a torch, you weld it your tank with gasoline, it will not explode. So you fill this up with your tank, uh -huh. it will not explode, it will just, uh, the flame will just be there, no explosion. This happens to my car. The car was tested by, by the German people, they came here, they had it tested, and then the, they make some proposals, but uh, I didn't like the proposal. It is a one-sided proposal. Few, maybe about 10 big corporations from Japan came here. Uh, then they have test the car. But the way I look at it, they want to steal the, the technology of the invention because the invention is so big that no person would like to share. So what I want is uh, put up uh, the, the income or what I want to share is that I can get from all these inventions that will be produced by any other investors or interested investors. Put up a foundation for the Filipino people. That is my dream. Not directly to the government, but directly to the people. Hoping that uh, maybe with the blessings of the good Lord, I can accomplish it if I still live. So I know that it, it's not so far away, but maybe it's just around the corner. Because the invention is there and it works. Warm-up time or anything? No, 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 warm-up time. And this car is four years old, driving on water? Yeah. <coughs> What's the click sound? Is it something with the engine? 
Yeah, no, that has something to do with the uh, production of more, more current, more electricity. When you are on the highway, you see the power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how much water is that? That's about seven liters. And it's seawater, not mineral water? No, so much is better because it's uh, organ uh, ordinary water. Like, let's like say, tap water. The higher the salt content, the better? Or? Yeah, the higher the salt, right there. Like uh, uh, producing uh, heavy water from the salt water, which is, you know, the tibium. So the Mississippi River would be too much for the full world to use. As you burn it, it goes into the atmosphere, converted back into water, water vapor, hydrogen, and oxygen, but other vapor then the glass will form, then they contest, come back to the earth again. For the longer time, we don't use it, the oil magnets become all the more happier. So their era is about to pass, but they have had their share of the wealth of the whole world already. This car is no mystery, it's something real.